I am so disgusted with the Laurie Vallow Daybell case, and that's why I no longer will cover it as a criminal case on this channel. But I will talk about it every now and again, um, the extra bits, the bits that are not as fundamental to the actual crime story. And when I heard that Chad Daybell, and if you don't know who Chad Daybell is, because there are going to be new subscribers who don't know the Laurie Vallow Daybell case, um, Basically, Chad Daybell and Laurie Daybell murdered people for financial gain. Usually they murdered people who had life insurance policies. And two of their victims were Laurie Vallow Daybell's children, Tylee and um, JJ. These kids were found buried in Chad Daybell's backyard. And there is no question about either of their guilt, as far as I'm concerned. I'm very logical when it comes to crime. If you've got bo bodies buried in your backyard and the police are trying to ask you about missing people and you flee to another location, uh, you're guilty as far as I'm concerned. So Chad Daybell, uh, I don't know what his role is in, in, in its entirety, but Chad Daybell and Laurie Daybell conspired to get rid of a lot of people, including Chad Daybell's wife. Um, it wasn't long after his wife was murdered by him that he married Lori Vallow Daybell. And while they were getting married in Hawaii, her children were buried in his backyard. And there's no question that he's guilty of murder, as far as I'm concerned, whether he did it by himself or um, it was a joint effort. I mean, they both conspired to kill people for financial gain. There's no doubt in my mind and I've just had a massive fit. I'm just, I just, I just was so angry. I just could not control myself. So I'm re-uploading. I'm re-making uh, this podcast. But Chad Daybell's children have recently given an interview on Forty Eight Hours, and they've said that their father was framed. Now that is usually something that people say when they are in denial, and I'm sorry that my sympathy for Chad Daybell's children stops right there. From the time they're trying to defend him, defend his actions, knowing full well that he's guilty. I just cannot have any more sympathy for them because denial can only go so far as, as far as I'm concerned. When you have somebody in your life and you see that people around them are just dying and they're collecting life insurance policies and they're buried in that person's backyard and they're away on holiday or they're trying to flee or they're not answering questions about missing persons and you're still sitting there saying that the person is framed or saying that they're not guilty. I'm sorry, but I have no sympathy for you. I had sympathy for Chad Daybell's children. I no longer have any sympathy for Chad Daybell's children and that might sound harsh, but as far as I'm concerned, your love for somebody and your denial about what they've done must not come before the morality of a murder. And that means if your mother has been murdered by your father, which he, which he has, because, you know, his, he murdered his wife and he's charged with murdering his wife. And you've got children that have disappeared and they're buried on the property of the man who has fleed to another country and won't answer questions about them. And you're still sitting there defending that person. I'm sorry, but you have no morals. It's all about you then. They cannot have morals and be that much in denial. Those kids were buried on his property and there was an investigation, a very active investigation and he wouldn't speak he would not, he would not speak. He would not tell people where the children were. He refused at every turn to tell people where these children are. He fled to Hawaii. And for the, his children to sit there and defend his actions is just abysmal as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, the, the, the morality of, of, you know, being concerned about children and being concerned and upset and angry about the murders of these people and the more and the 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 more the moral bankruptcy of what he's done should come before any kind of pride 
they're too proud to admit that their father killed those children. They're just too proud. And um, to me, they're just, they're not going to get my sympathy anymore. I don't have any sympathy for Chad Daybell's children anymore because they have no morals speaking of his innocence when it's absolutely obvious that he not only murdered their mother, but also those children as well. And like I said, I stopped covering this case as a criminal case on this channel. I made a very conscious decision because I'm just sick and tired of Chad Daybell and Laurie Daybell being allowed to manipulate the justice system and manipulate and lie to everybody else around them, including their family members who they lied to and manipulated. Um, I am so, so angry that Chad Daybell's children are defending his despicable actions. And I'm so angry and sick and tired of the delays in the court case. And I'm very angry that Laurie Ballow Daybell is in a mental health hospital, um, hospital because she should be sitting on death row. She should be where Scott Peterson is. And uh, if it were me, if I did all the things that she did, I would be under a prison right now. It's a disgrace that Laurie Ballow Daybell, instead of being in prison for the rest of her life, that she is in a mental health hospital. It's an absolute disgrace.